Okay, let's get started on part two of this zine. As you recall, we were um, doing the, uh, we were blocking out just a basic two column headline uh, shape in here. Nothing too fancy. I mean, again, if you go to the Pinterest page and look at the zines, you'll see a lot of different variations. And you'll see here that, you know, before we get started on the text that I've been playing around with um, different thing, columns, um, text in a shape, text on top of a shape, text around a shape, and text that flows around a shape. And then, you know, the bottom line is, how does it fit into your design? This the biggest mistake I see people make with typography is the text is too big. Okay, and remember, you got to zoom in on this stuff so you can see how big it is. Uh, the The mistake I see is uh, the text is too large, and text gets in the way. Um, typography. I mean, information should be subservient to the experience, to the to the image, to the experience. It should provide information. It should be you know readable. I mean, if, if depending on the philosophy that you embrace. Um, and then, you know, it should be in some kind of a layout, but so just ha having said that, let's just review, um, what we were doing. It's going to be really big when it comes in, right? So just a review from the, if you've watched the first, um, video, then we're going to, you know, this is, again, this is just an example. You all have different images, different ideas. This is not something that you have to do. This is just uh, an example of a standard kind of a layout. And I'm going to make that exactly the same size. All right. Um, one thing I like to do is, is align them. So, you know, again, on your windows over here, make sure that you have your layers window open and you have your, um, let's see, where'd my align window go? Uh, hold on. There's my there's my align uh, window. So if you shift click, if you clicked, you know, elements, you can click on these and it will align them uh, on the two axes. So let's say you've got that. So let's say you want to um, have some columns of text like this. Well, first of all, you need some typography. You're going to go to chat GPT. You're going to have your whatever it is that you want to say. If you don't, if you just want to play around, then you go to lorem ipsum and you can just generate as much text as you want. And I want some overflow text, so I'm going to create, I'm going to get quite a bit in here. I'm going to go back over here. So your text tool is right here. Should we zoom in a little bit more just so we can see? All right. And for anybody watching this video that's an illustrator expert, uh, this isn't for you. This is... Um, uh, <laughs> this is a basic illustrator and, uh, you know, my, my forte is more Photoshop and even that I just go in there and get done what I need to get done. So, um, you know, there's a million ways to do things. Um, and, uh, more possibly, <laughs> probably more efficient ways, but this is one way for one artist to another that you can get this project done. All right. For my students. So. Here's your text tool, right? You're going to draw a box out. Yeah, let's bring that up. You're going to draw a box out into a column shape. It fills it automatically with lorem ipsum. Illustrator does. You're going to select all, and then you're going to paste our text in there. And, and let's um, make it a little bit smaller. Let's, um, what is this? I've got meta. And before I forget... Let me um, uh, show you how to get dip more fonts. All right, in a minute. This is, you can see, I'm formatting it. I'm having my, I would never do center justified text like that. As some Once in a while, I'll do side to side like that. Um, and then, but this is pretty standard. All right. So, you see this little red box? So, you take your selection tool here. And you have to click really fast. Hold on here. Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't always do it for me. There we go. Isn't that weird? Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but anyway, you click on it, you click fast, you you don't double click, 
Anyway, you get it to where it has that little that little shape there, and then it paste it into another one. And let's let's do another column. Let's go take a let's try it again here. Whoops. Ella, there's there. So fast click was working for me earlier. Oh, there it goes. I don't know. I apologize in, in advance. Um, but anyway, for those of you just starting out, that's how you would get your columns. Now, obviously you can change the shape. You would probably want this to line up. I can show you how to do rulers. You do Apple R, or Command R, and you can get your rulers over here, your little lines, your, you know, so you can um, see just where you might want things. And, and then it's up to you to kind of adjust these things and get them to fit, uh, you know, under the image. All right, now I'm gonna go over to my selection tool. I'm gonna shift click through these guys and I'm gonna go to my align. Where did he go? Here's my align. The align should be down with my, with my uh, tech stuff here. Okay, and then we click this, and then we click this. All right, so now you're going to be putting in, you know, whatever it is that you want to say, right, about your piece, your magazine, your zine, right? So that's how you would do columns. Let's do a headline. So text tool, you would click. And we've got really small text there, so let's put in something big. Okay, that's plenty big. All right. And we'll do, uh, we've done minimalism over there. We'll do, uh, maybe we'll do, um, what should we do there? I don't know. Let's just put the word trend in there. You can do all caps or you can do lowercase. I did all caps here. You know, again, design. Some of you are interior designers. You're probably not going to be getting into graphic design, but it doesn't hurt to know a little bit. Some of you are graphic designers and illustrators, so you know that, you know, I mean, smaller uh, font within all caps is going to have a certain look. And then here's a larger font with, uh, you know, more lowercase. Now, color. If you want to adjust the color, you go over here and you double click. And I've just been doing white. That's kind of interesting how it bleeds in there. All right. So, again, my suggestion to you it is play with scale. Small text down here for your body text, your area text. Large. Go back and look at David, um, David Carson. You know, get a huge... Um, uh, get, get some huge letters in there for emphasis, um, for, to, um, turn something, if you want to turn it, so, so you could type in something like, um, contemporary, all right, but let's make it a little bit smaller. So scale, big, medium, and small shapes, right? Just like we've been learning. Emphasis, focal points, rule of thirds, all of that stuff. Whoops, is what we what we want to be um, thinking about. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hold down my shift key, and it's going to snap it. There we go. So again, you can have, look at those examples of some of those zines. You can have, you know, things along the side there. You know, let's make this one wide as well. So we've learned so far, that's a little big, but we've learned so far how to do the columns, how to do the headline, how to rotate. And I think um, the last thing... I don't want this to be too long. Maybe I'll do another video for some of these other special effects. 
keep in mind that you can also do individual letters and numbers and things, right? So, you know, this could be page one or something. <laughs> Minimalism one, right? I don't know what color I would make that. Nice beige, a little green. So scale, what I'd be looking for, you know, it, it, sometimes I like to play around with huge elements, mid-size elements, tiny elements. And then you'll notice that everything's wrapping around the edge here. A little warning sign goes off for me. Why not take some of these things and bring them up into more of a rule of thirds area? I don't know. Like right now they work okay. But, you know, be careful of having things. I mean, we have these around the side for a reason. I think just because um, we want the photo to be emphasized. But keep in mind that um, for placement, to that rule of thirds. Okay, we're at 11 minutes. Uh, the next video, I'm going to show you, um, how to paste text into shapes, around shapes, and around paths.